Welcome to Crazy Sounds 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's start the timer. So, TNT, you remember the band Garbage? Yeah. Stupid girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would die for you. I would die for you. Do you remember any of them? Yeah, I like the lead singer. She was cute. Yes. That's actually who I'm about to speak about. She uh, was giving an interview and had told the interviewer that she found out her boyfriend was cheating on her mm -hmm. and she took a crap in his breakfast cereal and that she's not ashamed about it. Oh. So my question is, have you ever found out someone was cheating on you and did you do anything to them because of it? Or did you? are you just the type that would be like, all right, bye. Joe, you're trying to this could get me brought up on charges. Uh, Jonah, you're, you're like, I shot them and no. <laughs> Joe, you're basically Vlad TV. You're just trying to get me caught up and like just tell them myself. You try to get me to say stuff all the oh, time. Yeah, well, usually, you, you usually uh, deliver. Oh, what? <laughs> you usually deliver. Yeah, when you try to catch me in trying to be a closet racist, that is yeah, not true. I know, that's definitely not true. <laughs> um, no, no, I've never done anything. Um, I've been cheated on, I think, well, I could not, I know for sure one time. And uh, I was just like, yo, I'm done. I'm out. Yeah. I'm, I'm a firm believer in like, you know, having having an individual such as myself. And I feel like everybody should feel this way. But having you in somebody else's life, you should be a benefit to them, to that person. And they should be a benefit to you. Not necessarily saying it's that you should seek that out. But if you remove yourself from that person's life, that's punishment enough. Yeah. You're you know? not wrong, dude. Like, uh. It's, it's, uh, the older I get, the more that I'm like, how much value does this person add to my life? Like, because. Wow. <laughs> See how it comes across sounding weird as hell? That yeah. sounds wild well, when but, you say, uh, how much, wait, how can they help me? Right. But, but in, but in like, it, it sounds nasty, but like when you get older, yeah. you work a full-time job. A lot of times you have a family or whatever too. I mean, it's like you only have so much time to fit people in your life. And if they're going to like be toxic. That part. Like why well, just kick them out of your life and let yeah. someone else fill that space up. Yeah, I feel that. And being cheated on is definitely toxic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have, have you ever I, been cheated on, John? Have I caught, have I ever caught someone cheating on me? Or I that. don't think I ever caught someone cheating on me. People have, when we broke up, they were dating someone else awfully fast. So yeah. whether that was they were already talking to them before we broke up or they just found someone quickly, both of those still kind of hurt in their own way. You know, because like if you break up with, you and a girl break up and she's dating somebody new like within a week, you're like. I mean, I feel like that's generally why a person does that behavior is because they want to cause that, that hurt in you. You're like, oh. Well, let me find the first uh, Pete Davidson I can find <laughs> and jump in the sack with him. Is you that know? what made Kanye crazy? What? No. Is that what sent him over? Anyway, sorry. He's been uh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. But we're not talking about but, Kanye. Uh, no, dude. It, it, but I think so, too. And I love, dude, and it's so funny with the internet now because, like, back in the day, whatever. But, like, there has been, I have definitely, like, started seeing someone or had something going on with someone and then, like, had them like put something on their like MySpace page that was like, oh my, this guy I'm seeing, Joe, and like you're like, wait, I, I thought I was seeing you. I, who the who, who's Joe? Like, and, or like, or just be like, you're still following them um, on like on um, like Snapchat or something after you break up, and then they post in their story about like, oh look what so and so sent me some flowers, and you're like, bitch, it's been like two days since we broke up. How's another dude mm -hmm, sending mm -hmm. you flowers? Are you know what I mean? Like. Those aren't specific. That's just random. But like, I've I've seen things on social media. Very, it's like, and I'm like, man, you are petty as hell because I know who's who the audience was was for that. You ain't trying to just show everybody somebody sent you flowers. You're trying to show me that yeah. somebody sent you flowers or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever had anything like that happen? I know you're not a big mm -hmm. social media guy, but you were were you were a little bit. Like years years ago, you were more on social media, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess I still really didn't pay attention to any of that. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I've really heard a lot of like cheating. I mean, I have my own the stories about it, but I, I don't know. I don't know. And for me, it's always the the cell phone. They like, hmm. If I could count how many times You're, a girl has wanted to see your cell phone? That, no, dude. You go to sleep with her at night, and then you wake up, and she's got face down in your phone. And all you can see is her face in the back lid of your phone, and she's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> that, what the fuck is this? I like 
That's the worst. Man. Nowadays, that's the worst. Now that I'm a little older, if I woke up to that, that would be the last time I ever talked to her. E- really? Even if I didn't have anything to hide, I'd be like, I can't trust you now. Even if you, even if you did have something to hide. Yeah, probably too. I mean, still, yeah, well, yeah, still, it's over she's, anyway. She's if you still, have something, yeah, <laughs> if I had so. something to hide, it's over because she found it. Although, see, you're looking at it from a different angle now. But uh, in if, these if, certain situations, I have something to hide. I'm like, oh, well, here we go. And you're like, but I feel like people who have something to hide a lot of times hide it, and it's like, how smart are you with cell phones? <sighs> I mean, look, everybody know how to use a cell phone. Everybody knows how to go into your, your time vault and look up pictures that you deleted because you got to delete your pictures from your cell phone twice nowadays. Yeah, because they go to trash and then you got to like delete them from trash. Yeah, like just yeah, hanging yeah, out yeah, in the yeah, trash. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will definitely be like, oh, so why you got... Or they'll upload to your cloud. Why you got, <laughs> why you got 25 deleted D, D pics in your phone? I didn't get a D pic any time this week. Hmm? And it's like... How did you figure out you got named Super Sleuth 90s Hacker with your got named Ray-Ban sunglasses? <laughs> Crash and override herself in here. Yeah. Zero cool. Like, she's putting these freaking Ocean's Eleven tricks to get into my vault. <laughs> I'm like, you are absolutely insane. She's like, has a harness on. She's hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> she's like, she's upside down right? looking at your cell phone. Right? Yeah, dude. I, uh, I have, like, I have never once asked a partner to look at their phone because I don't uh, care. I never have either. I've never um, done it secretly either. I've definitely had it done for me. And at the time I had something to hide and I was like, no, nah, if you don't trust me, um, this is, we might as well call it over now. That's psychology. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I did find something in a partner's phone because I had to use their phone to, because what did you find? They, uh, they, I had to use their phone. Uh huh. And. And I, I was like, that's weird that you're messaging this person. I didn't know they were supposed to be here with you. And then, like, I went and I was like, because, like, they had just sent a message to this person. And I was like, that's odd. And then mm. I was like, I clicked on the thing because it said something like, where are you at? And I was like, mm. what do you mean? Where? Why are you talking to somebody about where you're at? Like, I didn't know they were supposed to be here. And then you look at, and I was like, oh. You I, started reading messages? Yes. Because, but but I but but they has and but the only reason I was in the phone is because I had to get in the phone for something oh, else. Oh, that's the same logic they use. No, man. no, no. This was this was legitimately like I had to like they were. You had to get into the text messages. Yeah, and I, you had to read that specific text message. No, it was the top message in the thing. It was a new message. Where are you at? And I was like, um, yeah, it was it was an unfortunate uh, thing. Okay. And like, uh, oh, and I, in, and, and that, and it, and like, but that's, and it was like, I went in and I was, and what the funny thing was is, uh, I hadn't told them that I found that yet. And then the next day they were like, Hey, and it was, this was really weird. Cause I never said this before either. They were like, Hey, can you message so-and-so for me through me, their phone? And when they did, and I brought it up that whole text thread was gone they had deleted it and then i was like oh that's definitely something they didn't want me to see and then and then like for them to throw me their phone the next day on purpose to, when they never asked me to send messages ever i was like sus behavior right right sus and behavior. and then i was like so by the way bad cheater yo oh yeah absolutely Ooh. so yeah but anyways that was and, and that was only because like it was it was it was a uh, like i don't it's funny because I've had people be like, don't you get jealous? And I'm like, if they're dating me and they're on their phone, what do I care who the hell they're talking to? Yeah, it's not my what business. Do I give, what do I give an ish who they're talking to at all? Yeah, if they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat, man. If you find out, good. If you don't, I mean, so you don't know. Let me ask you this. Do you think, is it only cheating if they're getting together in person and being physical, or what if they're just having like deep emotional conversations with somebody else that you don't know about? Okay, I, can... I like many women will tell you is that the emotional is way worse. Is way worse. Really? Yeah. You agree with that, or do you think that's what women will tell me? That's what women will tell you, and I agree with that. Yes, physical is bad, but the emotional is even worse. It's like physical is like all right, so like you know we can either a figure out what's going on in the bedroom that you're not fulfilled with 
the talk I've never had. Um, <laughs> nice caveat there. Or, you know, you can give me some cheat days. Oh, right. Oh, but if they're, but if they're like, I mean, the whole basis of a relationship, I guess, is connection with that person. If they're like telling them about all this deep stuff in their life and they're not telling you, then you're like. Yeah, that's a little much. That's a little much. I don't know. I guess, I I guess I've never found that at all. I've never really found physical cheating either. It was, uh, yeah. So I don't know. It's weird, man. But, uh, but yes, I would never, like, I think we talked about this before too. Like if I was with someone and found out they were cheating on somebody else, I would not be mad at the guy at all. No, no, I wouldn't be mad. Well, yeah, I would be angry. I wouldn't mm, be mad mm. at the girl. Yeah, but like, I, you know, you hear all the things about the dudes who are like, "Oh man, I found out whoop that dude's ass," and you're like, "Why? <laughs> why? Yeah, like, why are you attacking? You don't even know you exist. Yeah, I mean, unless he, he does. If he does, your your woman's still part of it too, man. Yeah, but if that's like, if it was you, I'm gonna be mad at you. If, yeah, I, well, if yeah, I come well, okay. home and right, I find right, you banging right, my right. girlfriend, yo, right, right, we're yeah, you bring words. your girl over all the time like, and you like bro. you fall asleep one night and I'm like, hey, last night, man, just <laughs> railed your girlfriend. Yeah. Like, like yeah. and mind you, she's out on her ass and you probably get like a second chance. You know, you get redemption. <laughs> You're like, hey, that was real effed up, but we've been boys a long yeah, time. Yeah. I think I might be. And I'm never definitely bring not girl. bringing any more girls around you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Rico Suave over here stealing all the bees. Yeah. So, anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we have-